Okay, hi, I'm Jerry Nolan. I'm a consultant in anaesthesia and intensive care medicine at the Royal United Hospital in Bath. And I've been talking today uh, about really an update on therapeutic hypothermia after cardiac arrest, or what we should probably now term it targeted temperature management after cardiac arrest. Uh, this is a pretty controversial topic. Um, it's very relevant, of course, to emergency physicians because emergency physicians will typically be the ones that initiate uh, targeted temperature management in the emergency department for patients arriving comatose after having been initially resuscitated from out of hospital cardiac arrest. I think probably uh, one of the commonest way that cooling uh, is started is with the use of up to two litres of ice cold crystalloid. And one of the things that I've been discussing is recent evidence that uh, suggests that if that therapy is started in perhaps in an uncontrolled way pre-hospital, it may in fact uh, lead to some complications in terms of increased risk of re-arrest and, uh, and also um, increased incidence of pulmonary edema on the initial chest x-ray. So that's an area that's coming under for some concern and it's probably going to be addressed in new guidelines that will be coming out later this year. Um, the other topics that I've been discussing are methods of maintaining temperature control. There are a variety of those and it's not really clear whether any one of those have, has clear advantages. Uh, the most controversial uh, aspect of targeted temperature control um, has been brought about by the publication a year or so ago of the targeted temperature management trial uh, which compared the use of uh, 33 degrees versus 36 degrees in patients admitted to hospital having been resuscitated from out of hospital cardiac arrest. And in summary, the, the findings of that study suggested that there was no significant difference in neurological outcome between those two target temperatures. And this has led uh, to significant debate amongst experts because in the past we would have routinely used a target temperature of about 33 degrees for 24 hours before slowly rewarming these patients. And now the challenge is there that maybe 36 degrees is just as good. Or perhaps we should be more specific. It may be simply eliminating uh, the risk of fever is the, where the advantage of that technique lies. Whether we should be using 33, 33 or 36 is something that I've been discussing today, but I think in summary we must wait for international guidelines that will come out later this year to be followed also by new uh, general resuscitation guidelines in 2015. Until that time I think the main message, especially for emergency physicians uh, in clinical practice, is that, temp that fever should be prevented in these patients and I think at least starting induction of cooling in the emergency department makes sense and then it'll be up to the critical care team locally to, to determine how they wish to then continue to treat that patient whether it be at 33 or 36 degrees. And uh, I think uh, there's still a lot of research to be done in this field and uh, I look forward to seeing more of that coming out in the next couple of years. Thank you for listening.